just letting you guys know you can listen to my no bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my no bleeps youtube channel link in the description Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today we are talking about Tana Mojo and the reason why she's getting called out left and right, you guys. But before we get into anything, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Simple Health. As you guys know, we've talked about Simple Health before. It is a faster, more affordable, and a much more convenient way to be getting your birth control delivered to you straight to your door in discreet packaging. No one will ever know what you're getting in the mail. It totally beats having to go to the pharmacy to pick up your prescription. You can get it prescribed online. You can get it renewed online. Simple Health's doctors can prescribe over 100 brands of the pill as well as the patch or the ring. They personalize all recommendations based on your health profile and personal preferences. When you go on their website, you can fill out a questionnaire and a Simple Health doctor will help you figure out which one is best for you. And Simple Health only offers trusted brands of birth control. Licensed doctors help design these products and review every patient with rigor and care. Simple Health also accepts insurance and birth control is free with most insurance plans. And without insurance, pills start at just $15 a month and delivery is free for everyone. They even have supplements that you can add to your orders now. They have a daily five, they have a urinary tract support, as well as a probiotic to help with your gut. But please remember, Simple Health is not a replacement for your routine checkups with your doctor. So please go get your exams, go get your paps, ladies. So you guys, to try Simple Health for free, you can go to simplehealth.com slash spill sesh or just enter spill sesh at checkout. The link will be in the description as well. Now to get into all of this Tana Mojo stuff, you guys, let's start off with the, what's going on between Tana and Austin McBroom. So as you guys might have seen from other videos that I posted during the YouTuber versus TikToker fight, Tana was calling out Austin for cheating on Catherine. Um. She was posting all these stories that she had allegedly heard about Austin. One time Austin McBroom was cheating on Catherine and the girl he was cheating on her with left a lipstick in his car. And I'm sitting in the car with Jake and we get a call from Catherine or Austin or whoever answer it. And it's Austin bawling his eyes out and Catherine absolutely screaming, holding this lipstick inside of their car. And she's screaming and she's like, it's the lipstick, Tana's. Austin says the lipstick, Tana's, blah, blah, blah. Austin's bawling. And the two of them just started going at it on Twitter. After these callouts, Tana then began to call out Austin McBroom for the fact that a lot of people were not getting paid. And it was coming out that Austin was actually a owner of Social Gloves, which is the um. company that hosted the YouTuber TikToker event in charge of paying everybody. And apparently they're going through a lawsuit because nobody is getting paid. And this is a big, big, big deal. So Tana came out and tweeted, not Austin McBroom owning most of Social Gloves. And then everyone being surprised, people aren't getting paid because obviously the family has a reputation for scamming and so austin had made a joke about if somebody wants to come and fight tana to like hit him up tana responded to this by saying you realize triller offers more money than you right maybe i'd fight with social gloves when my friends get their checks remember when you had one of your security guards drop off forty thousand dollars in a bag to my roommate so they wouldn't expose you cheating you didn't pay me enough though. This is absolutely insane. I also wonder if she's talking about Cole Kerrigan because we do know that Cole has tried to come out and say a little something before, but nothing ever happened with him legally, I think. That was a whole mess and a half. It could be a bunch of other roommates because Tana lives with like a million people. Honestly, there's always people in her house, in her stories. So that is something that occurred with Tana and Austin this week. And People have literally been telling Tana to like leave the Ace family alone because of how much she's been coming for them recently. And she addressed um. those comments by making a TikTok saying that she's just in a silly, goofy mood. And I guess Amari is also in a silly, goofy mood because on his podcast that he does, he was talking about Austin McBroom as well, spilling the tea on times where he has heard of Austin flying or trying or allegedly trying to fly out people to hang out with girls and it's just such a mess like the whole thing is so messy oh let me a couple years back I have a really good friend in Vegas one of my best friends I used to dance with she messaged me one day and was like hey do you know who this guy is and it's Austin McBroom's page 
And I'm like, uh, I don't know him, know him, but I know who he is. Like, he's part of the Ace family, blah, blah, blah. Like, he's married. Is, or Are they married? No, I don't know. Yeah, yeah they're married. They're married? Yeah. Whatever. I don't care. Um, shouldn't be. <laughs> um, don't care. And uh, so, yeah, I, and I used to watch them, too. I used to watch them for a little bit of time, and then finally I was just like, but I was like, why? Right. And she was like, he's been, like, hitting up my friend nonstop, trying to fly her out, trying to hook up with her, all this stuff. And I was like, oh my God. She was like, well, she saw like his account, saw his page, saw that he like is with Catherine. So she's not responding to him, but he's like nonstop hitting her up. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and that was the first I had ever like heard of his like unfaithfulness. Yeah. Should I say? Yeah. yeah. That was the first I'd ever heard of it. Cause this was like years back. So I was like, when more stuff's coming up, I'm like, this has been going on for a long time. Everything about this, Tana, Austin, oh my gosh, these rumors, a mess. But once this story kind of started to settle down, people started coming for Tana for an entirely different thing. And this had to do with the fact that she was in Hawaii this past week for her birthday. She flew to Hawaii, no big deal. Tana just having a nice relaxing vacation, as you would think. Then she got called out for this leaving trash behind on her vacation. And people were literally so upset at her because, I mean, hello, obviously people don't wanna be seeing this type of stuff. It's just rude. So Tana had tweeted about something where she was taking pictures on the beach with one of her friends. And somebody had attached a tweet that read, because this is something that needs to be addressed and stopped at Tana Mojo. And the person that had replied to Tana had said, I'm assuming this is why you left our beaches a mess and didn't bother to clean up your trash. And when you guys look at the photo attached, it says literally influencers Tana staying in Lanikai left choke trash on a beach after partying all day. All kinds of stuff too. I stay tripping. The disrespect. This makes me so sad. At Tana Mojo, this is the type of tourist you don't want to be. This kind of behavior is not okay and is the reason why influencers coming to Hawaii is bad for everyone who lives here. So obviously, this is something that really upset people because this is like what the beach looked like. And Tana replied to this saying, this is a blatant lie. We slept on the beach for a day with it all day and weird creepy people came and took pics of it by our house when we went in to get a snack at SMH. But what can I do? I love Hawaii. I'm always good to the beaches SMH. And people were a little confused by this reply. They were like, wait a minute. So you didn't exactly like deny what was going on. You just said like they were lying, but then you said that you were there and then said that weird creepy people came. So then you left. So you didn't clean it up. But uh, that's just kind of what it sounded like. Anyways, the whole thing about this was very upsetting to a lot of people, and that's why people were calling out Tana. I mean, the rumor has it is that Tana is going to be coming out with a mm. podcast soon, and it's going to be tied to the fact that she's always canceled. So that seems to be pretty on par with everything that we're talking about today. She made the announcement on her birthday in this photo that looks like it could be podcast cover art and said she's canceled should she have a podcast and she changed her twitter name to canceled so who knows if tana's actually going to be coming out with a podcast i definitely would be interested to see if this is something that she's really going to be doing i mean the last time i ever heard about tana and her work ethic in terms of her having to like show up to set for something it wasn't good um. until recent it wasn't good until recent. Like the entire time when she was doing the MTV thing, we only heard about how she was always late. She was like the worst to work with and all this stuff. But then this week when the Gabby um. Hanna drama was coming out and Joey and Daniel were making videos talking about Gabby Hanna and her behavior on set, Daniel mentioned that Tana really got her stuff together for season four of Escape the Night and was really good on set. Tana was a nuisance on set of season two. She was super late, but by season four, she truly did have a glow up. She was on set, she was ready. She had a great attitude, great work ethic. I can't speak more highly of her. So maybe Tana will actually be good at podcasting and consistently post and it will be a success. I mean, who freaking knows? It might just be like the old days when she gave like story time videos. I think people would be interested in honestly hearing about the stories that she has to tell just based on the fact that that's the whole reason why she got famous in the first place for telling stories where she's like so open and honest about everything. But 
Anyways, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this, everything we talked about today. Thank you so much to Simple Health for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, weekend, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.